to this little update. This is going to be quick and brief and just to tell you the goings on and whatnot. And here's what I'm doing. If you've seen my current moves, you're probably wondering, you know, why certain trades are occurring. Um, let's start with Bitcoin here. And I want to show you what I'm doing. This area right down here under the uh, 8100 mainly um, is kind of a key area, uh, short term. And we're looking for a move that goes above 8460s right here. Uh, and it could go all the way up to maybe the 8800 and even as high as the 9100 range, which is still a very high probability. So we can get a big spike up. Uh, volume is compressed here. I have seen and noticed a lot of buying. Uh, it's very hidden and well orchestrated by other uh, players. Um, it's very small though. It's not something that I'm going to say is going to end the, the bear movement overall. Uh, I just think it's going to be a short term pop. And the very least amount it can go to would be that 8460s. So it has to go here. It could get extra, um, you know, uh, impetus and move even higher up to the uh, 88 or even up to what I set up here. Um, I don't think it could get much beyond there. I don't think it would do the giant move up to the um, 11,000 that I was looking at previously within this whole range. Uh, so this has just got extremely high probability uh, for a move to here. So let's just put it there above the 8460 um, short term. And so that's why I'm closing out the 8400 short that I had here and closed it out at under 8100 and I think it was 81 80 90s you know when that was there um, and that's why uh, also that's why I've got another entry at 8100 uh, that's why we had our exit on that other trade over at um, from the 88 down to um, what was it uh, 8000 uh, this whole area is just a buy area and until we get back above here, the 8460s, um, it really, it's going to be showing up and uh, the price action and everything demonstrates itself as being uh, that. So that's just a short term trading that I'm doing right now and exiting and moving positions. And you're going to see me playing the Coinbase versus the BitMEX account more and more. You're going to see these trades just explode and I'm tightening up the, the screws to say, and it's become more of a chess game um, where I'm exiting and entering positions constantly. And that's just going to, you know, add to the overall profitability over time. Uh, one of the special situations that I saw um, was in our friend BSV here. Now, I, I showed you guys the article on, you know, his prediction to 1200 and whatnot. Uh, and if what I also did is I went statistically and said to myself, okay, these guys are nuts. Um, I remember a pump that I did not take advantage of to any degree last time that uh, the price went up to like four times. Um, so this time I'm going to take, try to take advantage of a pump. And I started buying at, at in the 10, 110 and under 107 and 106.70s uh, area. So I've got two entries right here. And I'm going to be looking for no less than 180 for half of my position. And then, hey, if they can take it up to the 1200, you know, and this ridiculous, you know, the, the things this guy says, um, it, you know, when you give mental patients billions of dollars, you can get some interesting happenings. And uh, this is not a, a well floated, you know, it, it's, it's, controlled let's just say it's it's easy for them to move it so if they want to go over and play that game hey I'll tag along for the free money um, but it's logical uh, that they would do it from this level uh, the ideal level would be right here around that $100 range so if they dropped it down there I'll have another entry I'm gonna have orders right down here waiting and that's basically it and I'm not gonna put a lot of money towards it but I'm gonna you know, it's, it seems logical and it's a good play. And I'm pretty good at logical good plays. Uh, example, 
I own from the 20 range uh, AMD. And I'm not going to get too involved into uh, stocks because that's totally outside of our purview um, and whatnot. But this is one that I've liked for a long time because of their processors, uh, the Ryzen processors, if you know anything about technology. Um, they are just kicking Intel's ass and they're half to one third of the price of Intel's processors for better performance. Um, but anyway, that's why we see it spiking up up to here. Uh, the money's starting to come into them and whatnot and uh, it was a very good value. And I'll probably start taking profits when we get to the 50 range. Uh, but anyway, that, that's a special situation. So just like what I have with BSV right here, uh, we have a special situation and I think that it's going to do well. And hence why I'm trading it. But that's just an update for you guys briefly, you know, um, to let you know what's going on. I just wanted to make sure also uh, with the executions that, you know, uh, using the bot that it correctly exited the 7.5 that was from the short from the 8400 level, which was right here, and it exited it in the 8090 range, which it did, I'm told, um, and I will resell it likely at or above this 8460s range. So that's just a small minor trade inside the loop and keep on rolling. And that's your update. Have a great week and I'll update you again when uh, the next happening happens. Other than that, catch you later on in the week. Bye.